Patty Bennett. Welcome to my stamping loft. I don't know about you, but I love seeing how other crafters organize their creative spaces. And since I was recently redoing some of my stamp loft, I thought I'd share some tips with you and show you how I have things organized. So come on in, take a look. Welcome, so this is my crafting desk. This is where I sit and stamp and create. And I love having everything right at my fingertips, so I just thought I would show you how I have things organized. You can see that I have my Stampin' Up! ink pads here. All of the four color families plus the in colors are up here. Black and white pads and just some of the memento and white, you know, just all those extra pads that are beyond our 40 colors. And then I've got my blendability markers. Love those right at my fingertips as well as my stamp and write markers so that's fabulous just to have them all right here and that is just so convenient for me um, i'll be honest i'm a little jealous of some of the crafters that have a huge room or maybe even a basement but on the other hand i do really like that everything is right here and accessible so i don't have to get up and walk across the room well that's what i try to tell myself anyway i'll be happy with my little space so Anyway, just have my grid sheet here where I stamp, and then I have a few stamps right here that I just never put away, like Gorgeous Grunge, because, like, who can live without Gorgeous Grunge, right? Love Gorgeous Grunge. My stamp and cleaner, so I just clean my stamps right here, and then I have my scissors and bone folders and everything right there, right within reach. So this terrific caddy right here. This is something that I think I had on Facebook and people were guessing what I was going to do with it. And this is really nice because each section turns independently. I bought this at Harbor Freight. I'll put a link to it in my blog post. But I love how I can just hold all of my little Stampin' Up! containers of buttons and sequins and I've got my embossing powders in there. Everything is just super handy. My adhesives and my brayers, they're all right there where I can just reach them. Um, and I actually even have blank space down here. How cool is that? I'll have to fill that up. But on the top, I've got taller things like my Stampin' Mist and all of my spritzers, glues, extra bone folders, the spoons for embossing powder and little spritzer bottles. So this is nice because it takes up some vertical space since I don't have a lot of wall space and I, I really love that. So that's something that you might want to consider if you need some vertical storage rather than a lot of desktop storage. This is my paper drawer of happiness. I did a blog post on this some time ago. I went ahead and ordered the Stampin' Up! paper assortments so that you get all of the colors in a color family. And then I cut them into half sheets. So these are half of eight and half by 11, and these are quarter sheets. And then I have white and vanilla and some watercolor paper here. And then these are all of my um, paper stacks. Sorry, oh gosh, that one's even missing the cover. Let's get one with a cover. There we go. So the Stampin' Up! paper stacks, that are they're a little bit bigger than 4 by 6 ish so those are all right there and handy. And then I've got some extra candy dots and some extra um, pearls and rhinestones and some extra dimensionals and adhesive back here. So that's super handy to have right at my fingertips, and I love this stack of 2-inch wide white whisper white because that fits right into our tag topper punches so i have that just all ready to go i love this drawer and then the next drawer down i put all of the stamp sets that are current in the um, occasions catalog right now because as i am shooting this video we're in the middle of the occasions catalog so that way they're right here. I can just grab them, put them right back, and I'll show you the rest of my stamp storage later. But I really love having them in this drawer right here. So on the left side of my stamping table here, I have other essential items that I use. I've shared this on my blog before where I like to use these large rings to hold my washi tape assortments, and I just keep them together in the Stampin' Up! assortments. I know that's not important to everyone, but I like it that way. And I have six by six pieces here of all the current designer paper so that I have a little swatch to use. It's real handy. 
This is just a pile of things that I'm working on, little things I have for inspiration, like the Stampin' Up! Um, Stampin' Success magazine for demonstrators, so I keep that handy so I can look at it. And then in this container, I have pearls, rhinestones, all of my paper piercing templates and paper piercing mat. So those things, again, they're just handy. I like to have things handy. And then this is my other drawer of happiness, one of them. These are part of my punches. I like to have them just right at my fingertips. And the overflow is down here, so I have more punches down there. So this is my paper wall of happiness. This is what started the reorganization in here is because I really wanted these lovely paper holders. They're made by Stampin' Storage and I loved the idea of having one color per slot. I didn't have that before and it really made me nuts to shove several colors into each slot. So again I have my four color families, the in colors, and then my extra white and vanilla and neutral papers. So this has just worked out wonderful for me. I love these. Um, I wanted to get the 12 by 12 ones that match, but I had these 12 by 12 cubes, so I'm just going with that for now. But, but it's okay, it works. And I like the white. The white goes with my Alpha storage cabinets below. So I've got all my current designer papers and some of the um, just 12 by 12 cardstock and vellum and glitter paper and whatnot in those. So below that, I do have the Alpha carts. I really love these. They're a drawer system that just glides nicely and I have all sorts of things in all of them, just extra punches and papers. And over here, I have all of my reinkers. And I love that I have them, again, sorted into the Stampin' Up! color family. So that's always been helpful when I'm looking for one. And my ribbon drawer of one of everything that's current. So, again, helpful right at my fingertips. And these, you might wonder why I have some loose stamps up here. I just have a lot of stamps that I use really often, and I don't put them away. I like them right here. I like to just be able to grab them, like this is one of my current favorites. Hello! I love that one. So I just love that they're right there, and I just use them, and then if the set retires, I just put them back into the stamp set that so it goes this with. This is the wall that's behind where I sit. I sit right there, and this is behind me, and these are my current Stampin' Up! stamps. I still have some that are in wood, but most, I mean, well, in the old case is in wood. Some of these are wood, but I really like to mix my wood and my clear mount. I love both, and I really love the photopolymer. But anyway, all three of that type are up here. Those are my current stamps. And then I'll just start from left to right here. So I have a big heavy-duty cutter for when I'm prepping for classes or meetings or big events. It's great to have a real heavy-duty cutter. And I have my Simply Scored board for scoring and then my Big Shot. And right here I have all of my framelits and thinlets. I just go ahead and store them in the little clear mount packages with a um, magnet inside. And then they stay nice and together per set. And some of the bigger dies are here. And my embossing folders are in this box. And my bigger dies are right here. One thing that's really cool about this countertop that I just wanted to point out, it's something that you might want to consider if you're redoing a crafting space, is that I had this laminate countertop down here. And of course that's really low if you're trying to cut or do the big shot. So what my husband did was he built up some platforms and there's actually some wood pieces back here that you don't see that are underneath and he raised up a second countertop on top of the lower countertop. So what that allows me to do is have this fun little shelf here for buckets of scraps or whatever, just projects that I'm working on, but it puts this at a great height for me as I am crafting. So that's really helpful, especially if you're a little bit taller. Like, okay, my husband and son say that I'm short stuff, but I'm almost 5'8", so I don't consider myself short. But anyway, if you are a little bit taller, like I am, you might want a taller countertop for that. So that is a handy thing. And then I also have another alpha cart down here, and these are just extra ribbons. I like to make sure that I have some extra colors on hand of things, of colors that I use a lot. And then I have some extra adhesives and, oh, 
Wow, yeah, lots of extra adhesives. <laughs> I didn't really know that drawer was in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> but these neat little dividers are also sold by Alpha at the container store. So they're nice for keeping everything divided and in, in its own little spot there. So I think that about does it. I, I didn't talk about these. I have these real nice containers up here. These are from Lowe's and they're um, fabric and I just have extra cards, envelopes, washi tape, clear boxes, um, just extra storage up there. I do need to label a few more of those, but I just made some labels for myself to help me remember what's in there. So um, just making the most of my little space. It's only about eight by eight square. It's not very big, but I've got it all in here and it works. So hope you've enjoyed that tour. I just have two other little areas to show you and then we'll be done. On my wall of stamps, one thing I wanted to show you was that behind all my current stamps, I store some retired stamps. And those are some of the stamps that I'm waiting to see if Stampin' Up! puts them in the next catalog. So that's just a nice way that I can get double storage out of my space here. And I just keep my current stamps in front of those and then all of the retired ones are back there. So just wanted to show you that great tip too. This is the area where I shoot my videos and I take pictures of my samples. So it's just a small countertop. It's about four feet by three feet and I have my video camera normally hooked up right at the top there where you see that metal bar that goes across. Of course right now it's not there because I'm holding it doing this video, but I have some extra lights and I have my video camera usually set up shooting straight down there and then in the background is where I set up my cards when I take photos. This is a new addition to my crafting area. This is actually just on the bridge of my loft here. And this is my new Project Life area. I really wanted an area dedicated to having my Project Life cards and albums and page pocket pages out at all times so that I can just grab them and do a few pages and put it right back. So I hope this is going to work out for me. I've obviously, as you can see, have the supplies. I just need to do it now. And in the cabinets below here is where I have about 13 years of photos stored that I'm backlogged on. So I need to catch up a little bit. So that is my Project Life area. So thanks for joining me on my quick tour of my stamp loft. Hope you've enjoyed that. I hope maybe you picked up a couple of tips for organizing or storing some of your supplies. If you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you'll be sure to see all my great stamping tips and techniques that I share with you in my videos. So thanks for joining me. See you next time.